this very blessed occasion, the occasion of Nikah, which Allah mentions in the Quran as a sign of God. And one of the verses he mentions is that وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا There are many signs to reach God or to find out the existence of God. You look at the sky, you look at the earth, you look at the mountains, you look at the creation. There are many different signs that can lead you towards believing and knowing that there is one who has created this entire universe. Amongst those list of signs, one great sign Allah mentions in the Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ Amongst them, one of the greatest sign is of the two people coming together on the basis of nikah. أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا that Allah created partners for you. Allah created somebody to take care of you. Allah created that lifelong partner who can be there for you, who can be there, your emotional support, your mental support, your physical support, your financial support. Every type of support that you can think of, you find that in your partner. And that's what makes life, you know, peaceful. That's what makes life worth living on the face of this earth, that knowing Someone is there to be with you in your happy moments, in your sad moments, in your sickness, in your health, all of that. This is from amongst one of the greatest signs of God. Then Allah says that the purpose of creating you in pairs or partner for you, what is the purpose? What's the purpose of nikah? The greatest purpose of nikah is litaskunu ilayha. What do you want out of it? The thing that you want out of it is sukoon. In Arabic, in Urdu, we call it sukoon. We call it peace. We call it tranquility. That's why in Arabic, is house. a house is called maskan. Maskan, why? Because it's a place of sukoon. That's where the peace, tranquility, loving each other, taking care of each other, that's where all of that lies, right? And, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا When two people come together, on the basis of nikah, inshallah, now the nikah is going to take place. What does Allah reward them with? What does God give them? وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا God gives you divine love. And at the time of nikah, when ijab and qubul takes place, as soon as ijab and qubul takes place, then the divine love is placed in your heart. And that divine love is not something that is sold, sold at Walmart or Go or Safeway. It is a divine love that comes from the heavens. And it is placed in the heart of husband and wife. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً And then Allah places rahmah. Allah places mercy in our hearts. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah says to the end of the ayah that if you think about this, there is a great sign in there. There is a great sign for those people who reflect over this. That's why if we look at the life of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, he was every type of support that you, that you can think of. So for our, you know, life to be, uh, for our married life to be successful, to be peaceful, we want to make sure that we're there for each other. We want to support each other. The decisions are mutual from now on. We live the single life, but now we have a dependent to take care of. So decisions are single. Uh, the decisions are mutual. The respect is mutual. The financial decision is mutual, having kids and going, uh, you know, c continuing life forward. All these major decisions of life are now all mutual. And one thing that is also mutual is complementing each other. Because life cannot function without appreciating, without complimenting, without thanking each other. That I really thank you for being there with me and for being my support. You know, you do so much. Our women folk, mashallah, they do a lot. They do cooking, they do cleaning, they do laundry, they do they take care of the kids. So when last do we appreciate them? When last do we thank them? This is one of the sunnahs of Prophet Sallallahu is to smile at your spouse, is to thank them, is to appreciate them. There was a person, he was sitting in this type of gathering and the Imam gave a speech and he said that we're supposed to thank our wives. So he basically went home and he was somebody who was married for 17 years but he hadn't thanked his wife. So he said, now the Imam gave speech, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make sure that I thank my wife. So the di dinner table was laid, wife brings the food, he takes a morsel of the food, he takes a bite from the food, and every time he eats, he says, I thank you, thank you, what a nice food that you cook. So she's shocked, 
She said, you know, you haven't thanked me for 17 years of marriage. The more you eat, the more you're thinking me what's going on. So the more he's thinking, the more she's getting angry. So he's like, I've been, I've been thanking you. I'm appreciating you. Why are you getting angry? So she said, I've been married to you for 17 years. You haven't thanked my food. You haven't thanked my cooking. You haven't thanked me at all. Today the food came from neighbor's house. You're thinking so. <laughs> so the point is that we want to thank our spouse, mashallah, for our brother Hashir Hamza. If he wants to stay out of trouble, then he needs to thank her almost every day. Make it a habit of thanking, inshallah. And mutually, likewise, for her as well. Thank each other, take care of each other, make the mutual decisions, inshallah. This is going to bring a lot of peace, barakah, and tranquility. So we finish with this, inshallah. We're going to start the Aqd of Nikah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله عز وجل في كتابه العزيز بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا وقال الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم النكاح من سنتي وقال فمن رغب عن سنتي فليس مني وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام تزوج الودود الولود فإني مكاثر بكم الأمم يوم القيامة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام So mashallah we have the two witnesses So do I have your permission inshallah to go ahead and do ijab and qubur? Yes Inshallah Do you hand yourself over to Hashir Hamza? If you do say yes The Hashir Hamza, as you heard that uh, permission has been given from her side, we're halfway there. So in the presence of these two witnesses, as your witness in your nikah, do you do qubul of Anna Ismail Khan in the mahar which was mentioned? And do you take her in your marriage? And do you marry her on the Quran and on the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Say qubul hai. Qubul hai. نكحتها نكحتها وقبلتها وقبلتها وتزوجتها وتزوجتها Occasion Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم after the nikah he used to give the couple a very good dua and the dua is بارك الله لكما وبارك عنكما وجمع بينكما في خير So now I'd like to officially Mike is glitchy. So let's do it again one more time. Mashallah, you guys are officially married. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma laka alhamdu kulluh wa laka al-shukru kulluh wa laka al-fadlu kulluh bi adhika al-khayru kulluh. Allahumma la uhsi thana'an alayk anta kama thnita ala nafsik. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار. يا الله take them in your mercy, surround them in your mercy. يا الله all the good that Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم asked in our favor, give us that all the shun and the evil that Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم sought protection on behalf of all of us. Save us, save our kids, and save our entire progeny and entire coming generation. يا الله whatever we ask, give us that. Whatever we could not ask or we forgot to ask, you know الحمد لله. Ha <laughs>
and friends to make their way over to the stage everybody we're gonna party up this night one more time Thank you. 